What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code CE-3002-5. So this error pops up when you're trying to install the latest system version of your software version of your PlayStation 4, and I'm going to kind of show you how to fix it. So when you're trying to install it and it's trying to basically go through, it just gives you that error. The first thing you want to do is <laughs> you want to go to your notifications and you want to find said download. So you'll see it somewhere like in here, like it'll say something like installed. Uh, I don't think we've done an update for a while, so I don't have mine here. But it, it won't actually say installed, I apologize. It'll say the system software is here, and you want to actually press the options button, essentially, and delete the update. So you want to just basically press it, delete it, and it'll completely delete it out of like the settings and information where it's being downloaded from. What this is going to do is essentially it's going to completely delete the system itself, or the software itself, the update file, and you can kind of like try again. So there's one of two ways you can do. You can either go back into your PlayStation 4 itself and go to system software update and then just do it directly from here again. If the error persists, what you're going to then do is you are going to turn off your PlayStation 4 and I'm going to I'll basically link in a video on how to do this if you don't know how to. You're essentially going into safe mode and you're going to update it from there. In there, you can do re rebuild your database, come back and try again from the PlayStation 4, or rebuild your database and update it from the uh, safe mode itself. Um, I've made like so many <laughs> videos on how to do the safe mode. Like I said, I'll literally just link it in the description below for you guys on how to do it. Uh, and that should work. It's a simple error. It just happens when you're trying to most likely the first portion. So like I said, once you just delete that first file and then just do it again, you'll it'll just be good from there you won't have to kind of worry about it anymore moving forward uh, but the safe mode is like the last option for you to kind of go from there rebuild the database and then try updating your system software so you should be good to go from there um so yeah that's basically it, it should be a very simple and quick tutorial and you should be good to go uh if you guys overall have any comments questions concerns just let me know in the comment section below more than happy to help you guys out if you guys overall like this video please smash that like button helps a lot and if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell and that more